Hi you, I'm Jim. I'm Johnny. And uh, we're going to use beer to cook all sorts of things over the next few months. And we're going to start off with a beautiful beer battered bit of haddock. You need to get your deep fat fryer going. I've got this one at the 190, which is max. Um, and plain flour, bacon powder, and beer, as well as your haddock. So, Johnny, what beer are we going to use? The beer we're going to be using is Tribute, which is one of my favourite breweries down, down in Cornwall. Uh, this, this beer is their signature beer. They've got a couple of others, but this is their big one. Uh, it's uh, really hoppy, really deep, but it's got sort of some citrus flavours that hopefully will cut through the batter. Okay, you want about 125 grams of flour, plain flour. So, just guess. Because you're going to get the consistency as you go along, so you don't really need to measure it that much, as long as you get the right thing going. A uh, teaspoon of baking powder. All that does is just hold every, everything together. Uh, a bit of salt. So, a big pinch of salt. Half a teaspoon or a big pinch. And the beer. So, crack it open, Johnny. Uh, you could, like if, if you didn't want to use beer, go away, because that's what this channel is, you weirdos. Right, so you just mix it until you get the right consistency. So let's start off like that. The longer you mix it, the better it is. So go for as long as you can be bothered, frankly. What's the minimum, Jim? I'd say two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Um, another option would be what we're drinking today. Which is Hackney Brewery's Golden Ale, which is cheers, uh, Hackney Brewery. really lovely. Yeah, cheers to you. Love you. Uh, you could certainly use that in the batter, it would be a light, much more golden colour. So this uh, fish is uh, obviously sustainable as best, uh, use your local fishmonger. This is from Norris's in Victoria Park. It's beautiful, I love him, he's an amazing fishmonger. Um, so this is about what you want. You see that, it's just leaving little traces of the whisk in there. So you want to get some flour on your fish, just so it holds the batter better. So just do a bit of this, give it a dusting. All round. Shake off the excess, because you don't want lumps again. Okay, lid off here. Whisk out of there. And just go in. Get a nice coverage. You see that consistency means it sticks as well. Okay, that is gorgeous. Okay, just get all the I think you missed a bit. big drips off. <laughs> okay, now leave your basket in. You don't want to put it in the basket and then in the flat because it will stick to the bottom of the basket. What you want to do is drop it in really slowly. Like this. Can you see it? Just sits up at the top. Just poke that down a bit. So it's just sitting up in the oil, which means it won't stick to the bottom. That will take about two and a half, three minutes. Depends how thick your fish is, but you don't want to give it more than three minutes. No way. Uh, other fish you could use cod, snapper is probably the best, but they didn't have any. Above. It'll keep it warm, plus the excess fat will drain off. And you can see, look, look all that fat dancing around inside. Beautiful. No! <laughs> That's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, Johnny? First reaction, blinding pain from the hotness of the fish. <laughs> Second reaction, oh heaven. <laughs> <laughs>